Hello everyone, welcome to Land Fantasy Gaming. This is part two of April ST Patreons. I go here and look at different Patreon for April that I'm going to be getting, or you guys are pretty much interested in getting. Uh, I'm here to do a little review for you guys as well. Uh, subscribe, like, and share if you guys haven't. Um, check our Discord and Patreon uh, down the link below, and we'll be going more onto it. Artisan Guild, I usually get almost every month uh, for it. Uh, I think this is another dwarf set that they did they have i think another previous dwarf set that was uh pretty uh good good as well they need to do a gnome and halfling set that's what i really do need a gnome and a halfling and a lot of times they don't really do much of it uh a preview pictures for it um but yeah we just have to buy this i can't really do the videos and so forth because uh copyright issues and i don't want to deal with that so we have dwarves coming in and I'm sorry, I don't have any preview picture of it, but a lot of their miniatures and prints are very awesome as well. Uh, next one is White Wolf Tavern, a good one. Ding Ding doing the Angel set as well. They also, uh, April Loyalty, uh, my Pygmy Celestial Dragon. I got to figure out how I'm going to paint that shit too. Um, looks like the full miniature's not out, but we can look at the artwork for it. Celestial Oracles uh, for this. We got Call of the Punishing Judge. They do kind of look exactly like the prints that they're doing. Uh, there might be some changes, uh, so forth, just letting you guys know. But these are pretty much what's going to be on for this month's um, Patreon for White Wolf Tavern. And they're very good, too. I print a lot of others, uh, werewolves and, and uh, vampires uh, for that. I do like the Celestial Dragon. I will have to figure out how I'm going to do the white and the bluish tint. Uh, white and blue. White is great, but painting old white is a different story. The shading and the shadowing sometimes will just bleed in. It will not blend in as well. That's where you have a lot of grays that you want to put in between it as well. Especially only white doesn't really like washes. It will look just like what the washes are. So uh, a lot of times you got to spray over it. Uh, you know, like a mist, mist white over it. Uh, we got the Valkyrie. So I know there'll be a lot more uh, for it, but yeah, it's pretty much uh, what they're having so far right now. Uh, oh, can't wait to see the actual measures for that. Like the bullet, another good one. I use, I usually get. Uh, last just last month was the 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 foxes. Uh, I believe this month, Helen and Sam's. We got the Pandarian and a no. I think that's the throwback for it. Now this is what we want right here. This is the April release. This is just bigger right over here then. So we got a halfling paladin. These are all halflings. We got halflings. We finally got some halflings. This is what we really need. Halflings. Halflings are something that's very hard to come by and get. Also gnomes as well. So I'm very happy we got halflings uh, uh, for that. So halflings are coming. If you need halflings, bite the bullet. Go for it. Um, great Grimoire, April release. Alice in Nightmare. Another Alice uh, in Nightmare settings. I guess there's a lot more for it as well. Uh, we got the, the Red Roses. That looks pretty cool. Ashley will like this a lot. Uh, that I'm probably going to have to get. Uh, she does the fantasy type uh, D&D. Uh, Alice of Wonderland. Here's the Red Queen. Uh, the spikes uh, for the thing. So this is here's Alice and the Sethshire Cat. That looks pretty cool. But yeah, if you guys need Alice of Wonderland, that's probably it. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. So, uh, I don't think that's their full set. I think that's the welcome. There's the loyalty rewards on your left. And I've been uh, getting them pretty much every month so far. Village Hope Miniatures, I believe next month she says she's going to take a he or she's going to take a break. Um, they're doing Elden Ring uh, for you guys uh, for miniature print. So I'm doing the, I have the Dark Souls game and I'm getting a Dark Soul uh, RPG. I can incorporate Elden Ring miniatures in it. There are other creatures as well. But we got Elden Ring. We got uh, stuff as well. Um, Rihanna. A whole bunch of these people. So that's going to be it. 
I don't know if she's going to make more of it. He or she, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, just letting you know. If I say she or he, I mispronounce a gender, or, I'm very sorry. I'm just try to go through this as quickly as possible. I just got these last month, and I can't wait to paint them. Uh, print them and paint them. So, uh, this is FunNet 3D. I don't know if it releases this out yet. Oh, yeah, underwater CD, uh, city. So, we got underwater stuff, terrains coming in. And this will be good if you do underwater campaign. Uh, that looks awesome. Oh, wow. That would be probably kind of cool if you put it in your fish tank as well when you're uh, varnishing and painting and stuff like that. But Underwater City Inspiration, we did the orc one last a month. So yeah, underwater, underwater, if you guys do enjoy that. My 3D print, I think, this is the dwarves from World of Warcraft. Yes, it is. So we got World of Warcraft dwarves. Now there's sets of dwarves for you. If you guys like World of Warcraft, under World of Warcraft styles, this is it. Uh, I think this is the Iron Forge set, just letting you guys know. I hope you do enjoy uh, this set. It's a lot. It's a lot of miniature I'm going through right now, so uh, keep that in mind. Broke Anvil Monthly. I see old school orcs. I hope this is old school. Old school orcs are pigs. Are pig, pig snouted. P orcs. Uh, over the time and years, they changed it. A lot, little by little. But there are some old school books in Japanese anime they brought back as well. Uh, this is the April preview. Let's go back. We got a crazy lady wheelchair with a uh, arm for crossbows. Okay, got that. We have some kind of a mage with a two-barreled staff. Some concept has a big ass ballista uh, crossbow. Um, I don't know what's with this. Uh, a, a girl with octopus arm. Because I see little. I don't know until I actually print them out. Some of these are weird looking. It looks like a uh, coiled up snake in a in a body with hands and stuff. Yeah, teeth. But these looks cool. Um, you got the beholder. Weird looking beholder. A happy beholder. Goblin. 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 I'm guessing these are. I wanted to know if they're if they're doing bolts, but they look like. I got any 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 other picture of these. Okay, I think these are old school. I think they, I think they they're doing old school orcs on this one, but it feels like they're smaller and they're something else. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But I'm probably gonna get this and test it out myself. She's doing Re Renee Rani on May. Another anime figures. If you guys are doing interested on that. Uh, this one I believe is free. You can download that. I don't know what she did for, um, she's going for for April. I, 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 I know it's something, but can't put my mind on it. Uh, let's see if we can find it. This one's April release. We want to get that. Uh, I believe that one is an April release. So if you want to get that and paint it yourself, go for it. And she also has a bikini outfit as well. So those are for the April releases uh, for that. If you're interested, uh, go for it. Um, <laughs> she is Ruben. I don't, I, I even though I'm half Korean, I can't read this. Uh, uh, my mom can. And she wants to come over and read it, but I don't think it is. Cyberforce Miniatures. Uh, we have red versus blue from Halo. Yeah, red versus blue. So we got a little Halo uh, Master Chief that you can do. And there's an open post for that. Gargantuan, T-Rex, Triceratops, Pterodactyl, and people. So if you like uh, 
Cyberforge or futuristic stuff or Torak style. Um, this is it for Cyberforge miniatures. Hell Creator. Uh, I got their Dante's not that long ago. I don't know what they're going to do for March. I also got Isaac too. But I don't know what they're doing for uh, April. Pause until May. Details is in the pin post. So let's see here. Many characters by April. The problem is that because of the stitches. Oh, I wish you well, Hell Creator. Uh, Ara Koyos uh, Studio, also another good uh, miniature prints. Uh, they do Zoro's design. Did they finish it? A lot of work here finished. There was a request to finish Bone Guitar. Yeah. I need to print that up. That was last month's. I don't know if they did April's yet. Oh, uh, nope. April's not out yet. So, uh, just gotta wait on that, uh, to show up hopefully in part three. I uh, got 3D Hex. And we got, looks like forest type buildings. I think Elven forest type buildings. That's pretty good. I know he's doing little by little. I already got the woman uh, fountain and stuff. That's going to be part of forest terrain. So this is also good to have as well. Um, hopefully it'll be modular. That's one thing that I really like, modular. Okay, this is Crippling God Fundry, Ancient Spirits of Evil. Yeah, let's see what they have. Now, this will be the last one. I'm going to make part three. I'm trying to make this at least 10 minutes, around 10 minutes or so. Because I don't think people are going to watch it for like 30 minutes straight uh, for it. I'm going to stretch it out as much as possible. Another Egyptian style. They look more Egyptian style than the actual one itself. Akila. We got Amon. Looks pretty cool with Hawk. Evil living. Ugh. That looks pretty dope. Let's probably put that on uh, stuff. The evil spirit, Anubis. Uh, I don't think Anubis is an evil spirit, but Grand Fit Visor. But they look pretty dope. Uh, let me see here. Give me the Grand Advisor. Take him out. Mummified. Harold Fit. Mummy Assassin. <laughs> when have you ever seen a Mummy Assassin? So a Mummy Dragon. That would be probably cool to print. Um, Mummified Dragon. Mummy Queen Bust. Mummy Lord. Mummy Queen. So yeah, Egyptian for Crippling Gone Foundry. Thank you for watching part two of the STL Patreon. I hope you do enjoy it. Subscribe, like, and share. Check out our Discord Patreon. Thank you guys for your support. We see you guys for next time. Take care, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.